You may have seen video material that perhaps looks a bit too orange. Or a bit too blue. Well, these shots look this way because the camera wasn't white balanced correctly and the colour wasn't put right in the edit. To really understand what white balance is, it's first important to understand a bit about light sources. There are many different types of light and even though you may not see it, some light sources have different colours. So for example, the light from modern lamps such as energy savers, LEDs and fluorescent tubes is generally white but they may give out light that's a bit greenish, a bit bluey or orangey. And the process of white balancing calibrates your camera to accept these different colours of light. Try imagining a block of metal being heated. As it heats up, it will begin to glow, changing colour from red to white to blue. This relationship between heat and colour is what we call the colour temperature. And colour temperature is measured in degrees Kelvin. So, on a colour temperature scale, 1800 Kelvin is around the same as a burning candle, a very reddy, orangey light. At 3200 Kelvin, we have a traditional or tungsten light bulb. And if we carry on to around 5000 Kelvin, it's the same as sunlight at midday. Our brains automatically adjust to these different colour temperatures of light, so white doesn't look too blue or too orange. But cameras aren't so clever. What cameras do have is a feature that evens out colour differences and this is what we call doing a white balance. So, how do you set the white balance on a camera? Lots of cameras have an auto white balance function but my advice is to try to avoid using this as it can be inconsistent. Many cameras also come with various preset options for example, a light bulb symbol is for indoor situations with tungsten light bulbs. That's about 3,200 Kelvin. Or a sun symbol for outdoors. That's about 5,200 Kelvin. These settings might work for you, but to be sure, and if your camera's capable, you really should take a manual white balance. The symbol to set your own white balance tends to look like this. To set your own white balance, point the camera lens at a white object such as a piece of paper. Make sure that the paper is reflecting the light that will fall on your subject. Zoom in so the paper fills the frame and press the white balance button. The operation is complete once the white balance symbol stops flashing. The camera will now reproduce all colours accurately under this light source. Sometimes you might want to change the colour result for artistic reasons, purposely to make something a bit more blue or maybe a bit more orange. If you're filming on a more advanced camera or a digital SLR, you might be able to manually dial in the colour temperature to achieve this. You have to judge what looks best, but if possible, always take a manual white balance.